Alexia is kind of one of those wild cards. Slicer, I kind of almost caught. We have MM Leo also. I don't know if he's here today from San oh, Diego. So he's definitely here today. We have, uh, my my pick to probably be in top eight from the IE, Lumbre. Mm, Lumbre, yeah, Lumbre. Dude, Lumbre is like one of those players that I feel like, why is this man not like SoCal PR? Yeah, but I mean, you know what? He's PR still, and it, and it matters in his own region. Yeah. In Empire. And as long as he's in play, PR in his own region, that's what also counts too. XC is doing a great job here suppressing Ganondorf. Making sure he doesn't give him the opportunity to land. Ooh, but going for that high recovery, that's going to be punished. He gets jab locked. And Yo, Exia, calm down. No, Exia just bringing out all the combos. I Did he just jab once and be like, okay, I, I got you scared. Let me grab you. Yeah. Oh my god. Exia, you're a wild man. Thanks for the landing. I like that. Gives him that a little bit of space here at the ledge. Wants to make sure he doesn't get caught by anything silly from Ganondorf. Good respect. Exia knows. Ah, there's Ooh. the early play here, but yeah. not going to be it just yet. Up there. That'll do it. Caught him at the platform. Yep. And here we go. Gandorf is just trying to abuse his big, meaty hitboxes. But you know what? Like, Gandorf is big, but he's also slow. So, you know, with yeah. box of speed, he can just stuff out any of Ganon's options. He is kind of a big, big, like, hefty meat sack. I mean, this dude, this dude's got dinosaur bones. This dude's bones are thick. Yep. There's the back air. And then, oh, you know he wanted a... Yeah. a, a a shine, a fair, a bear, something off stage, but you know, I, I like, like the earlier recovery from Ganondorf to yeah. like kind of interrupt that. Caught the landing there because, because Linguini thought it was safe to go for a possible direction of air dodge, but unfortunately Exia is not going to give him the space to breathe. Watch the opportunity because he could have gone in for a follow up and immediately Exio knows no tech roll, I'll be fine. Ooh, and here we go. Exia just opening it up with this nice little string right here. So oppressive. No, you know what? Can you get Ganondorf in space? That's going to be it. And that's going to be all she wrote for game one. Exia said, I'll lose my stock, but I win the game. Yeah. That's a victory all on its own. I mean, that's like the fair footstool that's like a suicide, you know? The drag down fair would be like, okay, and I just yoinked this victory out of your pants. That's a free stock. I will take it gladly. <laughs> exactly. With so much, with so much advantage. Trying to call over my buddy Funks over here. All right. Well, the next 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 stage has been decided. The next game to be played here, Axia yet again, gonna stick Trident and Chew with his Fox. I mean, character lawless do get a little bit of an advantage over other players. They don't have to reset too much. They just have to adapt to different combos and different opportunities that the character has now changed from game to game. And here we go, opening up with another dash attack combo. You know, all these up tilts, like, it doesn't matter if you, like, air dodge, because, like, you're still in a bad position. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of, dude, when you get tech chased by Fox, it really hurts. Because it just feels super oppressive. That's why they call it the Fox Vortex. The minute you get tech chased by him, it feels like you're in a vortex forever. And he gets that tech chase yet again. He knows, man. All I have to do is read his defensive options, especially when he goes for the tech. He's only going for the tech in place, no tech roll. That's what I kind of want to see from the game. Yeah, again, I like the retreat from ledge there in case uh, Ganondorf went for that side B, but, you know, yep. just reads the jump option and gets an up smash for it instead. You know, I just love what Exia is doing with all his uh, oppressive options. So he's just trying to bait out all the defensive options from Ganondorf, and, you know, it's really paying off so far. Look at that. He just up throwing and be like, okay, I'm going to run away, see what you do. Oh, you air dodge? Let me re grab you and do it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard for the windmill land, but finally he's able to go for that dive kick, and Exia doesn't take too much against it. Ooh, there's a oh. quick nair off stage, but you know what? It's too late. It's too late. You know, that was a good trade for Exia. He got, he got rid of the stock, and he still has one fresh stock left. Up throw. Wait for the landing. Yet again. I like the fact that he even just goes for the jab. Doesn't go for a grab. Because right. Mews Linguini's a little more scared this time. Yeah. I mean, you see everybody like, oh, I land. I need a uh, spot dodge immediately so I don't get, like, hard punish. And mm -hmm. the, the answer to that is just jab in place because, oh, you know, Exia wanted that. Yeah, he did. That would have been a fresh little clip for Exia to keep. Good roll. I like it. Senses the downer and he knows what Ganondorf can do from it immediately. It's good for Exia to have the stage too as well because he has all that space to move in and out of Ganondorf's range. And Ganondorf doesn't have any platforms to possibly retreat or land to. It's Fox that kind of has everything he needs to win the victory here. And that's what Exia definitely demonstrated right. here with a 20 and a handshake. I mean, there again, like, there's that, like, nair to up smash. And though that, that nair is so, 